You want to become a solutions architect working at AWS. The AWS interview process has been changed significantly in 2024. In today's video, I'm going to go over the AWS solutions architect interview process along with some tips and tricks. How do I know about this? Hello guys and girls, my name is Raj. I'm a solutions architect working at AWS. I've been working at AWS for over five and a half years. And during my time, I have taken hundreds of cloud interviews. I'm also a public speaker and best-selling author, and I have helped my students become solutions architect at AWS and elsewhere. All right, let's get started. So the first round at AWS interview process is a new round. This is an online assessment round. Back in early 2019, when I got in as a solutions architect, this round was not there. This is simply because the number of applications are too many these days. So to filter out some candidates, AWS introduced this online assessment process. With this online assessments, there will be no interviewer. You will simply be given a link, you click the link, then a series of questions will appear that you need to answer. The duration is generally one hour and this online assessment will be comprised of both technical and behavioral. These technical questions are general technical questions and not deep creating a whole system design kind of question. This behavioral round is a little bit interesting. As part of this behavioral round, you'll be presented different scenarios and will be asked how you solve them. The important part is this behavioral round does not need actual stories from your work experience. This will be all fictional scenario. For example, customer asked you to do this, but that also contradicts with this. What will you do? So you have to use Amazon leadership principles to answer these questions. Again, there is no wrong answers here. It's just how you're going to approach this situation. They want you to think how you will take the Amazon leadership principles and then apply them. Couple of more important things to remember, this online assessment test is all multiple choice questions, including the behavioral questions. So they may ask you the behavioral question and then they will give you four options and you have to select the most appropriate one. Also, you can save and resume this online test. However, if you just sit down in one go, it will take around one hour. For the technical round, you may be asked for different competency areas that you can choose and more questions will appear from that technical area, such as compute, migration, analytics, machine learning, DevOps, etc. Now, another thing to keep in mind is, since this is all online and there is no live proctoring or live interviewer, you may be able to Google some stuff. However, I am not sure and I don't think there is any information out there whether Amazon is monitoring what you are Googling or not. So do that in your own uh, judgment and own discussion. All right, after you pass this online assessment test, then you will be asked to do a telephonic interview. This is also an one hour interview. It will be taken by one interviewer. Also, all Amazon interview round with actual human will be conducted by one interviewer. Sometimes there might be another person who will be shadowing the main interviewer. But Amazon don't do a panel interview for Solutions Architect. There will not be a case where you go into an interview room and there is like two or three people machine gunning you different questions. All Amazon interview rounds will be done by one main interviewer and the other person will be shadowing and mostly be silent. All right, back to the telephonic round. This is more a technical rapid fire round. So the interviewer will ask you different technical questions. It can vary widely in different technological areas. Now, when I gave interview in 2019, this could be a little longer interview, including multiple behavioral questions. But generally, this telephonic round is mostly technical. Maybe you may be asked one or two behavioral questions but that part is optional. So one tip about this round is, this technical interview round will be on different areas. 
So even if you are going for, let's say, a specialist role or a partner solutions architect role for a specific technology, you will get questions outside of that. Because as a solutions architect, we are expected to know the technical landscape. Why? Because even when you go to meet a customer on a particular solution, customers may ask you some fundamental questions related to cloud or modern technology. For example, if you are going for a solutions architect role, you may be asked, what is DevOps? Even if you are not going to work hands-on on DevOps, you should know as a solutions architect what, the, what is DevOps, what is CI, what is CD, etc. So let's say you pass this telephonic round. Next comes the infamous loop. There could be five to seven rounds of this loop. And this loop interview will comprised of two to three different areas. The first is system design where you will be asked to design a specific system and then you will be probed on that. You could also have a deep technical round. The online assessment and the telephonic round, they were mostly rapid fire question answer. But in this loop interview, they will go deep on the technical areas. For example, let's say you are going for a partner solutions architect or a specialist solutions architect. So if you are going for a container specialist architect or a serverless architect or even a .NET specialist or SAP specialist, you will be asked question deep on your expertise and they will see if you have the depth of knowledge to serve as a solutions architect in that domain. On the system design round, you will be asked to design a particular system and then they will challenge you in different areas, scale, security, high availability, etc. In certain cases, you may not face both this round. It could be just one or the other. And the other part of the loop is behavioral. If you are finding this video helpful, please click that like button. Smash it if that's something you are into and subscribe. And if you want a free cloud interview prep where I have given many different questions, the bad answer and good answer, different system design, check out the link to my free newsletter where I share tips, tricks, interview question answers weekly to the free subscribers. All right, back to the video. How is this different than the behavioral of online assessment? These behavioral answers must be from your experience. So for example, in the online assessment, they might ask you, oh, you have many different tasks, but the time is limited. How will you approach those? But in loop, they will ask you, tell me an example where you went above and beyond for your customer. See, this is not simulated anymore. You cannot give hypotheticals. Oh, I will do this, I will do that. These answers must be from your experience. So we have 16 different leadership principles. You have to have stories for those leadership principles from your past experience. So one helpful tip that I followed is I wrote down my different projects and different stories related to different leadership principles. You can repeat one story to two different leadership principle questions, but make sure not to repeat the same story over and over again. Now, one round which used to be there, which I went through when I gave my loop interview, but not anymore is the PowerPoint presentation round. That was the only round where more than one interviewer will be present in the room. In this round, you needed to present a system design or project that you designed and implemented, but that's gone, so you don't need to prepare for that round anymore. Each loop interview duration is 60 minutes, but it goes around 45 to 50 minutes. We try to leave five to 10 minutes at the end for you to ask any questions. On that note, make sure you have some good questions to ask. All right, those are all the rounds. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I cannot wait to see you inside AWS.